hello guys welcome and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be talking about life lately up north the fears that have been instilled in us growing up down south here about north you know as a child i've had a lot of things about up north that i believed even without going up north Um, before we dive right into this video, we've not really had any video come up for over a month now. Why? Because I went camping up north some weeks back. Trust me, if I'm going to give my quick review on how the north is, it is in fact not what I've been hearing about. It exceeded my expectations. At first, I was so scared of going up north, but when I got there, my orientation about the north changed totally from my own experience from other people's experience you know and thank god i am so happy i was privileged to go up north trust me i was super super happy when i got there so first of the things we hear about the northern states in nigeria here is that oh don't go there scary please ignore the sound of that bed <laughs> they tell you it is scary oh it is not safe security wise and all of those things but one thing i'm going to say first is everywhere everywhere no matter where you are you have to be security conscious my god why is that bed like that please ignore it no matter where you are you're down south you are wherever you are in fact you have to be very very careful you have to be security conscious about what you're doing you have to pray i don't know it might sound cliche but you have to pray you have to be watchful of your environment wherever you are so that's just what i'm going to say going forward in this video we're not going to mention any states in the north so i'm just going to be talking generally from my own experience and from other people's experience that have been to the north as well like i said before when i was going to go to the north i was super super scared i wasn't sure about it i was like ah sophia are you really sure you want to do this but trust me once i stepped my foot into the first state i was like oh my god thank god i did this when i got to where i was going to be camping i was out of it my feelings were in between because i just got there you know getting to a new environment i don't know if it's just me but when i get to the, a new place at first i'm going to feel so scattered like oh my god i don't know anybody here i'm new here all of those things i was just there i don't know i didn't feel anything the first time i got to the north then moving forward i started to make friends and they were in fact all of the friends i made up north with nothing else of course there are other people there there are other people from different parts of the country there but i just had this resolution that okay i'm up north here i want to make northern and friends from different northern states which i of course did and trust me these people are very very friendly they are very friendly always heard that the north is not a cool place to go but i'm saying this to you right now most of the northern states are so friendly don't even get me started when it comes to how things are so cheap over there food is super 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 cheap Food is very cheap. Emphasis on cheap. Transportation, very, very cheap. If accommodation, oh my God. Very, very, very cheap. And oh my God, Sophia, so why did you not stay up north? You know, when I got up north, I started to have this um, thought of, oh, I want to say to you, but the main reason why I just aborted this thought of, oh, let's say to you in the north is because I did college far away from home. Finishing college, I had this resolution that, okay, I want to just be with family. I want to be close to family. I want to have this good quality time with family. If not, I think I would have stayed up north. I would have just stayed there for quite some time. So for now, yes, I want to be down south. I'm beginning to think that if I'm thrown two dice and I'm asked to pick, if it is north and south, where would I want to go to? I think I would. Forgive me, please, South. I think I want to stay up north. In fact, please, I don't want to start to exaggerate right now. But another reason why I would want to stay up north, their language. Yes, their language is sweet. <laughs> it sounds sweet. I think it's one of the sweetest languages here in Nigeria. Yes, I love my language. Very beautiful. You see, their language is something that is so sweet and interesting. It sounds so pleasing to the ear. I love it. So that is one of the another reason why I would love to stay there. Don't even get me started when it comes to the way they dress. Modest, modest dressing. All of my stay in the north, rapid, the um city. I would hardly see anybody wearing clothes that so exposed me for one i'm this kind of person that don't like um to wear anything that is too exposed and like when you dress modestly if you like coming um old fashion old school i don't like it see when i see people dressing unclad like most naked i'm like 
really i don't know i don't know if it's just me but i don't like it it doesn't make you look beautiful trust me it makes you look cheap and tacky and over there you would hardly see anybody that would dress tacky like that so that's another reason why i would say okay yes i think i'll be very comfortable staying here up north the way the men respect their women i think one of the reasons why they respect their women is because their women are always properly dressed see as a woman if you are dressing and you are almost naked i don't i don't even know because okay this video is not going to be focused on the way women dress everybody have their own way of dressing but still and still please let us put conscience into the way we do things do not come and say oh this is my body it's my body i can do anything which is so hard i can decide to go almost naked like seriously why i'm not judging anybody here i'm not preaching to any of you to do or have a body a ways that you would trust that you yourself would know oh this is not nice or oh this is okay and modest uh, while i was up north there i got this done on my hand it's like a leaf tattoo it's called lali here down south i think they call it leila up there i've forgotten how they pronounce it i'll find a picture of me wearing the phone if i can still get it on my phone i was not able to get enough pictures and videos the next time i go up north trust me trust me i'm going to make videos i'm going to make memories of everything so what i just want to say i think the simple moral of this video is just that you should explore more we are so young um, we should go places more at times what we are told about places might actually not be totally true of course you should make your research before you start going places because there are actually some places that are really really dangerous trust me you don't want to risk it but not all of these places that they say oh it's not nice not all of them are actually as bad as they paint them to be some of them are very friendly and we don't even know so guys that is what i have come to say today this video is actually an unscripted video <laughs> and this is the third time i am making this video for you guys to see just so you know i love you guys i'm going to see you in my next video next sunday bye Mwah. and yes guys before i go do not forget to subscribe to my channel please and please subscribe to my channel hit the like button give this video a thumbs up please and drop your comments on what you think and what you want me to talk about next in the next video Mwah.